What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Two Pit Bulls, where I do dog educational training videos, as well as just dog educational videos. Today, I'd like to talk about a very important topic, and that topic is basically um, how does your dog see the world? Like, how does your dog see things in their eyes? How would you see things if you were a dog, basically? Um, this topic is very popular. I've always wondered it growing up as a kid. Like, are dogs really colorblind, as people say? Can dogs see colors? Are certain things that dogs can see without color? And so forth and so on. So I'll cover this topic today um, extensively. Um, so contrary to the popular belief that dogs are not colorblind, they do, however, see the world quite differently than humans. Um, dogs are more reliant on their other senses, um, superior senses in that case. Um, their sense of smell is amazing and their hearing is much more acute than ours. The fact that their vision is a bit fuzzy and lacks some color compared to ours is really no disadvantage in the doggy world. So what do dogs see? Um, roads, cones, and vision involving those uh, factors. So dogs have uh, retinas that have fewer cones but more rods compared to humans. More rods means they detect movement and light better. The cones are responsible for color vision, so the fact that they are the means that dogs see, uh, do see in color, they just see it differently. Um, their vision is dichromatic, so they primarily see blues and yellows. Uh, also, <clears throat> humans usually see uh, trichromatically with visible variations of red, blue, and yellow. Uh, so a dog's vision is similar to being red, green, color blind. Uh, which is common uh, variability in humans. Um, of course, we r really don't know how dogs see. We just make this assumption based on what the retina looks like on a cellular level. It is quite possible that dogs assign colors in a completely different manner to us, and they could rely on brightness and contrast to identify different colors more than what we do. For example, a dog may not be able to differentiate a green ball compared to a red ball but they may be able to detect a difference in the brightness or contrast between the two colors. Uh, light. Dogs are much better than humans in low light situations and are known as crepuscular hunters. Crepuscular is des derived from the Latin word for a twilight. Um, this means they are much better at spotting uh, that possum up the tree in the yard at dusk. This is certainly an advantage for them, though perhaps not for their human uh, housemates. They have a tape thumb that shows up in flash photographs as a greenish blue and uh, greenish hue in the eye. This reflective surface sends the light back over the retina to so there is a double there's a double the chance of picking up that light via the fo uh, photoreceptors. So that's why when you take uh, this is when you take a picture of a dog you see in a photograph you see like that greenish bluish thing on their eye and that's what they're talking about in this case. Um, so involving, speaking of movement, um, dogs are able to identify their owners at a further distance if their owner is moving, uh, rather than stationary, this ability to track a moving object has an evolutionary advantage for a species known to give chase, it also helps them catch a frisbee. So that's why they're so accurate at catching frisbees and great at timing whenever they're play, you're playing frisbee where your dog, you see him already jumping in there and already kind of, um, you know, kind of already predict where the uh, frisbee is going to land before it even touches the ground. Another thing, um, acuity and focus. Dog vision is a, uh, a little more fuzzy than ours. Um, the measure of visual acuity is often stated as a normal of 20-20 vision, which basically means that at 20 feet we can see two things that are 1.75 millimeter, millimeters apart. Uh, dogs vary in their visual acuity and their snell and rating can be estimated to be around 20 to 75 though this is estimated based on a poodle in germany who has who was vision tested and may may vary this particular snell and rating means they can recognize lines on a chart at 20 feet that a regular human uh could detect at 75 feet so it's a really big difference as you can tell um so while dogs don't see colors quite like we do and have slightly fuzzy vision their eyes are better adapted to movement and low light they also rely on their sense of smell and hearing more than we do. So it is true they, that they do uh, see the world a little differently to us, but it isn't because they are totally colorblind. So, you know, that was a common misconception um, that a lot of people had that dogs were completely colorblind. 
and I was just here to, you know, debunk that myth. Um, and this is why I like doing these dog educational videos. I learn as I go, just like you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Look at them. I think it's bedtime for them. They're already tired. Yeah, they're just, they're just tired. So yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos. Um, stay tuned for more content to come very soon. I won't have you guys waiting, you know, very long like last time. Um, sorry I was busy and uh, love you guys. Give this big video a big thumbs up if you really liked it. Um, subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do dog educational videos. Um, share this video. I like to get my shares up. I'm um, share on Facebook especially. I like to share my videos on Facebook. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh see you guys on the next one god bless and have a good day